It's a joy to come and share with you these devotional moments. In life, there are days that come without any fanfare. They come unannounced and unheralded. There's no blinking lights. There's no roar of a trumpet or flash of lightning or the roar of thunder. In Exodus chapter 3 for Moses, things were as they had been for the last 40 years. This is just another day out with the sheep. Nothing more, nothing less, nothing else. And when we look at Moses in Exodus chapter 3 standing before that burning bush, it reminds us that we meet God uh, in strange places. That God has a way of transforming ordinary moments into extraordinary events. The Bible says that he was on the backside of the desert tending Jethro's sheep when he came upon this burning bush. Uh, there's much discussion and debate about what it really means when it says he was on the backside of the desert. Some suggest the far side. Others suggest that he had gone farther this day than he ever had been gone before. He had moved beyond the routine. And it begs to raise the question for all of us, how far are we willing to go to have an encounter with God? He's on the backside of the desert and his attention is drawn to this bush that burns and burns and burns, but it's not being consumed. And when he turned aside to see, the Bible says that God called him by his name. God spoke to him from this burning bush and says to him, Moses, pull off your shoes for the very ground you stand on is holy ground. God has a way of transforming that ordinary place, that common place, into a holy place. He does it sometimes when at a home. When we're just walking through a house and we begin to talk to God and praise God and have an encounter. It can happen as you're driving in your car or at your workstation. God can speak and transform your commonplace into a holy place. God says to Moses from that burning bush, I have seen the affliction of my people. I have heard their cry. I know their sorrow and I am come down to deliver them. I've seen, I've heard, I know and now I am come down to deliver them. If you've ever wondered how God responds to human sorrow and tragedy, here it is. God says, I've seen, I've heard, I know, and I am come down. And that's God's word for you today. Regardless of the situation you find yourself in, your back may be against a wall, you may not be able to see in it light at the end of your tunnel. Your situation may appear to be hopeless and helpless. God wants you to know I've seen, I've heard, I know, and now I am come down. To remind us that in the midst of our pain and suffering, uh, God is not some detached spectator on the sideline of life. He participates. He gets involved. And that's God's word. Wherever you are, whatever you're going through, whatever you're dealing with, rest assured if you are a child of God, He sees, He hears, He knows, and He will respond. Let's pray. Lord, we thank You for being a God who shows up in the midst of our afflictions. We thank You for being a God who will come down to our rescue in times of trouble and tragedy. Bless now those who may think their back is against the wall, can't see any light at the end of the tunnel, feel hopeless and helpless. Let them feel your presence. Let them see your power. Let them feel your warm embrace, we pray in Jesus' name. 
Amen. I want to remind you of our prayer calls on Wednesday mornings at 7 a.m. and again Saturday evenings at 6 p.m. Members of Mount Olive, don't forget we're in the midst of our homecoming celebration. We ask for your presence and your participation in all upcoming homecoming events. And then let's not forget on Sunday morning, we begin at 8.30 a.m. with our Sunday School Review, followed by 9 a.m. worship. We would love for you to be in person in worship, but if you're unable to do that, then by all means, be a part of our live streaming worshipers. God bless you, and you have a great day in the Lord.